Hi, this is Jonathan Walls, the picture editor of the film The Power of Few. Welcome to Scene 64. This brief tutorial is designed to help you get comfortable with our editing application, which works similar to most editing programs out there today. The user interface includes a bin area, a monitor, and a timeline. The app starts with the video bin open, where you'll find every take and angle we filmed for Scene 64. Click the Audio tab to open the audio bin and find music tracks you can use in your edit. Assuming you've already downloaded and read the script, I suggest you take some time and get familiar with the media you have to work with. You can do this by simply clicking on a clip which prompts it to play in the video monitor. Notice each clip starts with a video slate describing the details of that shot. When you're ready to start editing, simply click and drag a clip into the timeline below. In the timeline, you'll find two video tracks and one audio track to make use of. You can trim a clip forward or backwards using your mouse or the scissor button. You can also drag a clip up and down the timeline. To remove a clip from your timeline, either select it and press your delete button or drag the clip up into the bin area where a trash can will appear. And there you go, it's gone. To play back your cut, you'll first need to click the Preview button located under the monitor. The first time you click Preview, you'll be prompted to name your movie. If you're editing in full screen mode, our app will not respond to your keyboard, so be sure you've clicked out of full screen or maximize mode in order to name your movie. You also have the ability to adjust the volume and speed of clips using the Settings button. My final note is that you take your time with your cut. There's a lot of media here to review, and you have some time before you can publish your final cut into the contest. I encourage you to make use of the Save button, which will keep all of your work saved in your profile, allowing you to step away and return to your work. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.